What's up, y'all? Back here with another video today. Um, as you see here, we got a nice piece, special piece we're going to be talking about. Um, if you watched my last video, I kind of just showed you that I, I had just picked this up and that we would do a uh, video on it. And uh, that's what we're going to do here today. Um, I got this off Amazon. Well, it's a Christmas present. My wife bought this off Amazon. Uh, I'm not sure. It was on sale, I believe. Um, Black Friday and she picked it up for me. So my love to her my shout out to her for that um, But let's take a look at it man Survivor Series uh, jaw-dropping debuts 1990 introducing two of the most unforgettable superstars in WWE history For the first time ever you got Gooker and Undertaker debuting Undertaker um, That's the front here Got the ultimate edition deal here um, spin this around on the side. It's the side if you lay it flat for you there. Uh, there's the back. Iconic shot from uh, the Wrestle or Survivor Series 1990. Um, Survivor Series 1990 hatched two new WWE superstars, one from an egg and one from the grave. And then there's a shot of both of them there um let me, on the top here we got an old school 1990 survivor series uh logo there with old ww back in my day it would have been f but we know it's the e now um nothing on the bottom there sorry so like survivor series 1990 was always a big part of my childhood, I ain't gonna lie. Um, during this time, I was really, really, really deep into the WWF. Uh, I liked the show. I just wish they, their main event would have had only one survivor. Like, I wish they would have did some kind of street fight, battle royal, etc. at the end of the night. I think it would have been more, uh, but just would have had a better finish than what it did. But anyway... Everything ain't great, you know what I'm saying? As a kid, when I was a kid, I loved it. So let's pop this open here, man. Got the little pull deal there, as always. Slide this open. This is what it looks like when you first open it. Uh, let's take a look at the figures real quick. Uh, first off, we got something here. We got like a backdrop. Get it out of here. Sorry, guys. Um, we got like a backdrop here. You got fans with the Survivor Series 1990 banner. And on this side, you have the classic 1990 Survivor Series backdrop. Uh, if you pay close attention, this is on the old 1990 posters, programs, etc. Has this look if you did not know that. But there you have it. Very good looking. Um, let's get into some figures here. Pull this first one out. We got the Undertaker. Um, Shot of the Undertaker there. 1990 debut. Sorry, guys. There's the back. Let's take a look at the front real quick. Um. Ultimate Edition, these are nice. I have several. Ultimate Edition, I have some signed, etc. Uh, Undertaker from 1990. Comes with the tie. The original get-up hat, jacket. Good-looking head scans there of the Undertaker. Right on the money. Got some changeable hands, gloves, etc. It's a good-looking Undertaker here, man. Um... If you're my age group, you come up in my era, you pretty much like The Undertaker. Um, one of the greatest of all time, easily, in my opinion. Definitely in my era. Um, definitely left his mark on the business. He debuted here in 1990 uh, with Brother Love. And then on the back here, you got the old school. They threw the Mattel Legend Brother Love in on this shot. Uh, that was him. I remember Roddy Piper freaking out when he came out. 
All right, 610 from Death Valley, finish a tombstone, career highlight, WWE champion. Let's take a little, let's read here. When the Million Dollar Man introduced the world to the mystery member of his Survivor Series 1990 team, a massive man with dead eyes stalked to the ring. Chills of fear crawled up the spines of everyone in the WWE Universe. From the moment forward, all those who crossed paths with the Undertaker would rest in peace. So, yeah, man. Good looking piece there, the Undertaker. Uh, next up, let's see what we can get out of here next. We got the Gobbly Gooker here. I never understood this, but it's funny that they made this. I ain't gonna lie. Um, there you go. This was played by Hector Guerrero, correct, I believe. Not, I'm sorry. There's a shot of him there on the side. And on the back, you got him dancing with me and Gene Oakland. Just watch Survivor Series 90, you know. Height 5'10 from a giant egg. Finisher, gobble gobble. Career, highlight 24 7 champion. Uh, down here, read a little bit. In the weeks leading up to Survivor Series 90, a giant egg appeared at the WWE events. Speculation ran rampant over what could be inside. Finally, a Survivor Series, the egg hatched in the WWE Universe, was introduced to one of the most unforgettable characters in WWE history, the Gobbly Gooker. So there you have it. And then next up, we have this Survivor Series box with the question marks on it. Uh, this, of course, is the egg here. And you also get another one of these um deals in there as well um this here is the egg let me pop it open over here it has these pull deals on it as well you gotta be careful with this if you want to keep it in good shape and then on this one the same you know um, so there's that. This side pulls open here. Oh, and then we got the egg. Sorry, guys. We got the egg piece here. It's pretty simple to put together, as you see. Bow. and then you got the top part you could do lots of things with this um, you could put the gobbly gooker in there who knows you could have some kind of uh, insane fucked up hardcore match I don't know you could do anything with it but man this is a cool piece I had to pick it up um, definitely a thumbs up I wish we could get more of these I wish they'd make a barber shop you know with Shawn Michaels and HBK. There's so many great moments uh, in the OWWF golden era that you could do stuff like this for. So hats off to them for doing it. This is an awesome piece in my opinion. Um, but yeah, man. Just wanted to do a little showing of this here. Um, when you first open this, this piece is like uh, wrapped up with a bunch of wire, so you will have to cut them, etc. Um but thanks for watching, man. I'm out. We'll have uh, more videos coming soon. Um, no autograph soundings lined up until like March, but I got a huge March coming up. But thanks for watching, y'all, man. I'm out. Peace.